What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is M, and today we are going to be discussing running 6.1 liter cylinder heads on your 5.7 liter Hemi. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, let's discuss why and how. The why is pretty simple. The 5.7 liter Hemi pre-eagle cylinder heads are notorious for dropping valve seats. Not only are they notorious for dropping valve seats, they are the worst flowing Gen 3 Hemi cylinder head that there is. And I haven't even mentioned the fact that some model years are known to snap valve springs and drop valves into the motor. Going ahead and swapping to 6.1 liter cylinder heads nullifies this issue while providing performance gains. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I had to go ahead and interject. Although the pre-eagle cylinder heads are notorious for the valve seat failure, there have been valve seats that have dropped out of 6.1 liter heads as well as eagle cylinder heads. So do not think that I am saying that if you swap to these cylinder heads, there is no chance in hell that you will drop a valve seat because it is possible. I'm not going to lie to you like that. However, it is much less Likely, those pre-eagle cylinder heads have gained notoriety for a reason. So let's go ahead and hop right back into the video I had to clarify. So when running 6.1 liter cylinder heads on a 5.7 liter block, if you use the OEM 5.7 liter gaskets with 6.1 liter push rods, depending on the camshaft and the motor and how much your heads have been decked, you will be sitting right between 10.8 and 11.25 to 1 compression. So I average it out at 11 to 1 compression, approximate. And some people use cometic head gaskets to drop the compression back down. It's right around 40 thousandths, I believe. Running those cometic head gaskets will result in about 10 and a half to 1 compression. However, I believe the approximate 11 to 1 compression ratio while running the stock 5.7 liter head gaskets is perfect. You can still run boost and tune on 93 pump gas. So you can run those cometic head gaskets and drop compression a little bit but I'm personally leaving it right there approximately at 11 to 1. I can still boost it, and I don't need to run E85 or anything like that. I don't need meth injection. I'm perfectly fine just running on 93 pump gas. When swapping two 6.1 liter cylinder heads, you will need an intake manifold. You can use an aftermarket intake manifold, or you could use a 6.4 liter intake manifold, 6.1 liter intake manifold, or even an intake manifold off of one of the 2009 and up Eagle 5.7 liter Hemis. Although I'm about to give you some information that may sway your opinion on which intake manifold you would want to use. If you run a 09 plus 5.7 liter intake manifold or a 6.4 liter intake manifold, you will need spacers as there is a boss on the front of the block that protrudes and will interfere with the intake manifold sitting properly. But there have been people who ask me, can I run my pre-eagle intake? You can, it's possible, but please don't. It would be a huge choke point. If you run a 6.1 liter intake manifold, you will be able to use your pre-eagle fuel rails. If you run a 09 plus intake manifold off of an eagle motor or a 392 intake, you will need new fuel rails. And pre-eagle 5.7 liter Hemi valve covers will fit 6.1 liter heads, so there's no need to change those out. Unless you want to upgrade if you're a 05 guy and you have the old wasted spark system and you want to upgrade to the dual spark system, then you can source some 6.1 liter valve covers or something like that. Due to the heads having a different exhaust port, you're going to have to change exhaust manifolds exhaust headers i don't recommend going and getting new exhaust manifolds the log style manifolds they're trash just go ahead and get yourself some srt shorty headers headers are a lot better no matter what and if you're going ahead and doing all this you might as well go ahead and get yourself some headers so source some 6.1 liter 6.2 liter or 6.4 liter shorty headers or maybe even go after market and grab yourself some long tube headers as long as they are d port you're a-okay and grab yourself a new throttle body gasket as well, you should not be reusing them. And depending on a couple of different factors such as where you source your heads from or the mileage and wear on your motor, you may need to grab yourself some new rocker arm assemblies. 
If the heads are second hand, you may need to go ahead and replace the springs and retainers and the valve seals and everything else. Uh, if you get them from a performance shop, then you're most likely going to be all set to go. But if you are going to be camming the car or anything, take the time and just grab some nice PSI performance springs or something else that is you know, reputable and ready to go. And when you are replacing the heads, grab new head bolts. If you're going for some crazy build, of course, grab some head studs. The OEM are torqued to yield, so you must replace them. And of course, you're going to need a tune to tell your car what the hell is going on and take advantage of that extra power and flow that is introduced. And of course, I have to mention that if you just do a head swap, you are most likely going to be disappointed you are going to improve efficiency of the motor, but without a camshaft, you're not really going to be able to take advantage of that extra flow. So all you're gonna get is a compression bump if you don't decide to use some Cometic head gaskets and bring that compression back down. But in all seriousness, you're already gonna have the cylinder heads off, have to replace the head gaskets, you're already gonna have the new intake manifold and everything else going on, all of these gaskets going into place. You might as well go ahead, pop the old cam out, grab some springs, retainers, the new cam, maybe some non-MDS lifters so you can get yourself a nice cam because if you didn't know this, typically the MDS cams are not that intense as the MDS lifters will collapse. So non-MDS cams typically provide more gains and are a bit more rowdy. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope this video was entertaining and I hope you learned something. I hope you consider camming your car, swapping cylinder heads, and stay tuned for the Eagle Cylinder Head video.